16 cheap Middle Eastern fragrances that you could wear every day, making them signature scent worthy. Let's talk about it. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on guys? My name is Neve. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today we're gonna be talking about cheap Middle Eastern fragrances that are signature scent worthy. All of these don't smell cheap. Otherwise, I wouldn't deem them signature scent worthy to begin with. To be honest with you, a lot of these smell like they're, you know, worth more than the price tag. Let's go ahead and just get started with the first fragrance. And this is a heavy hitter. This is called Enigma Un. My favorite inspired by of Sauvage Elixir. Smells a lot like it. In the opening is where it's going to be the most apart or detached. But once it starts to dry down, it gets even closer and closer. Like I mentioned earlier, this is my favorite. And it definitely is better, in my opinion, than Essed. This doesn't mean that Essed is a bad fragrance. And it doesn't mean that it's not signature scent worthy it actually is this one however in my opinion is much closer to the original dna stronger spicier louder better quality smelling as well enigma un doesn't give me less than eight hours of total longevity and performance you just got to make sure you spray it on clothing as well i don't put any season to this fragrance as well i would wear it in the summer all year literally all year that's not going to be the case for every single signature scent some of them you have to signature during the winter time and you know just because you're wearing it at certain parts of the year doesn't necessarily mean that it's not your signature scent once the cold weather hits or whatever the fragrance is weather appropriate for and you end up wearing these fragrances for that time being it's going to be your signature this can be all year school gym office everywhere that's where i rock it to and you can do the same so enigma un by fa paris next fragrance is by out of the zafaron it's more for the colder weather and this is called ahlamak one of the most available and best armani code profumo inspired by it smells exactly like that tonka bean mandarin orange super sexy sex appeal to this fragrance date night approved but also so yeah, it's signature scent worthy. During the winter time, this is going to be gorgeous stuff. And really I've signature scented the original myself for years, for years. Ever since its release, I bought like seven bottles of that. I don't even know why the hell I bought that many, but I loved it. Super leather fragrance with a lot of sweet tonka and mandarin. Sex appeal, mass appeal to the max. And this one is exactly that. As this one sat, it's gotten better, significantly better. All of the Zafaran Ahlamak. That's going to be the next one. Winter time, sexy time approved. The next one is going to be more so for like you office goers or gym goers. You want something that's not too abrasive. It lasts a pretty long time. It's fresh, it's clean, it's easy. It's musks, some citruses, and maybe a little bit of sweetness in there. It's basically Chanel Allure Homme. That's what I uh, described, or Allure Homme Sport. And that's this one. It's called El Dirham by Ard Zafaron. That's essentially what it is. It's Allure Homme Sport. You get some citruses, some musks, very refined, not abrasive by any means. At the top, you're going to get this Tonka sweetness, which is, reminds me of the O Extreme, but it quickly dries off within the first 20 minutes and it turns much closer into Allure Homme Sport. This smells like a guy at the office who just like literally goes into the bathroom, changes and sprays this bad boy on and goes to the gym. That's what it smells like. Super mass appealing. Any weather, every weather, all year banger right here. Al Dragam. This is a highly slept on fragrance. It says limited edition, by the way, but it's the gold one. If it's the gold one, it's the same thing. None of these are limited edition. I don't know why the hell they do that, but yeah, you must buy now limited edition before it's not limited anymore. I hope to God they don't discontinue this one though, okay? So don't go there, guys. Don't go there. Speaking of fresh fragrances, this is for relatively the same crowd. If you want something that's less around the musks, less vanillic, aquatic, woody, slightly peppery, nothing abrasive, but it's fresh as well, this is going to be a Jamal Shiro. A Jamal Shiro reminds me a lot of the types of DNAs of Aqua de Jo. Aqua de Jo, the original, with the original performance. I don't get less than six hours out of this fragrance. It treads in that category or vein of fragrances. It's not a spitting image of the original, but it definitely gets close to. The only bad side or the bad thing Thing about this is the bottle flops over and all that stuff but still fresh aquatic woody slightly peppery and last six hours no brainer very easy fresh fragrance you're looking for office gym you don't really care too much for the sweetness the peppers whatever this is going to be gold right here for exactly that super easy you spray this on you know you smell good you walk out and that's it this next one is another one for cold weather you might be able to get away with this during the springtime nights because it's so freaking strong relatively new in my collection is called dumont Celerio epic genuinely epic because it is officially dethroned for me shut off blend by zimaya and it's borderline, I mean, it's better than the OG Khamra. I don't know if it's better than Qahwa, but it's better than the OG Khamra. And we're talking about scent profile, we're talking about density, and we're talking about longevity. Get your nose on this one. Sprayed it on my coat, lasted for three freaking days. Who the hell needs three days performance? I do. I do. And you do too. But anyways, about six sprays of this, and it's three days. I rocked this to the gym. I got compliments up the freaking Huza. 
Yeah, man. Don't let anybody tell you where you can can't wear it. It actually smells fantastic. I've smelled guys that I know wearing Angel Share or Khamra to the gym, and it smells amazing. With this fragrance, you're gonna have to also spray it less because it's extremely strong. Beast mode stuff, still within the first formulations or batches, it's strong, man. It's strong. If you like Angel Share or Khamra and all that stuff, this smells like a blend of Khamra and Angel Share. I'm enjoying this a bit more. Oh, addicting. This next one is going to be signature scent for a lot of seasons, really. You could even get away with this during the springtime. I have, I've rocked it everywhere. It's a sex night fragrance, a spice bomb fragrance. It's spice bomb extreme. That's what I was trying to say. And everything else as well. I signature scented this. I was ready for it. Spice bomb extreme, that is 24 seven. So freaking good. Oh my God. Yeah, this is really good. This smells a lot like Spice Bomb Extreme on a freaking budget. If you're into Middle Eastern cheapies, this is one that you must put on your must have. It's that good. Spicy, vanillic, syrupy, gorgeous fragrance. And you can signature scent this. Winter time, uh, fall time, maybe even springtime, man. Gorgeous fragrance, festive, warm, sexy, seductive, a 10 out of 10, for sure. Easily a 10 out of 10. Next one is also in that same category or realm of fragrances, sexy night fragrances, but it takes away those peppers. So if you don't like the spices, but you like that sexy, you know, a mass appeal with some earthy nuances rather than the spices, then you're likely to enjoy Invictus Victory Elixir or the best version currently, Epoque Artistique by Khadlaj. My God. I was so addicted to this, so addicted. I actually wore this to a meeting of mine and they complimented me on how I wear and yeah, very head turning, noticeable, super sexy, seductive. You wanna be careful with the trigger on this one because it can come off syrupy sweet, but if you like sweet fragrances, that's what you're all about, that's what this is. Sweet, ambery, and earthy, yummy. Seriously, Epoque Artistique by Khadlaj, fire stuff as well. The next one is so easy and a gem, a hidden gem and relatively harder to find, but you can still find this one and it's worth every bit of the money that you're gonna get this for. Granted, the original, sometimes you can find it at discounters, so do your homework and see which one's cheaper, but this smells designer level and it's Destentations Flame by Fragrance World. Smells like Versace Eros Flame. Very easy, mass appealing, fruity. You can wear this every single day and in every every single season. Yeah, man, yeah. It's got this rosemary, very attention-grabbing, aromatic, really good and sweet. Smells great. I'm starting to appreciate this one again, all over again, honestly. This one deserves more light. I will be putting this aside to wear it more and talk about it more. Hidden gem. Next one is one of my favorite blues, one of my favorite cheap blues. Invictus Aqua, blah, 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 this twist, that dupe and whatever. This is by far one of the best ones. And it's because they take the best of both worlds, Invictus Aqua and Blue de Chanel. It's Shiaka for men, the blue one. I love this stuff because it smells like a blue fragrance with maybe some abroxin, a little bit of peppers, but it's sweeter. It's Blue de Chanel with bubble gum. Amazing. Mass appeal times 10, you get a decent amount of longevity, about average to slightly above average. So easy. Blue, fresh, sweet, easy. School, any age. This is excellent. Next one is basically Aqua de Joe Profumo. One of the best ones in my opinion, the Tafa Sokrat. Has a lot of similarities and quite a few differences, but nevertheless in the air, it smells relatively close. Fresh, aquatic, woody, but it also has that incense and patchouli. If you missed the original or you missed the original and you don't wanna pay the crazy prices, you really don't have to. Just rock this one. The incense of course is not gonna be, you know, to the max, but this is pretty damn close. It's pretty damn close. It'll give you the idea if not better than just an idea. Latafa Sokrat isn't really talked about much. It is definitely a hidden gem and one of the best ones in my opinion. Better than the Mason Alhambra, George de Profumo for sure. Sokrat lasts much longer than that one as well. Easy, everyday, office. I didn't really enjoy it too much when I did wear it while working out, but everywhere else, this is great. Cold weather, it's actually gonna do well in cold weather because it has that incense and uh, patchouli nuance. So it's like a freshy that you can kind of take into other seasons. Next on this list is relatively unisex and I did this one mostly for the ladies because I do find this one to go towards the feminine side of things and this is called Latafa Sublime, Badia Al Oud Sublime. Beautiful fragrance, it really smells like a one of the most high ends, I should say, body sprays. It smells like fruit punch body spray and for that reason you can easily signature scent this. Very sexy, fruity, lychee, gummy bear quality. It's a fruit punch gummy bear. So sexy, edible, chewy, 
yeah, that's what she's gonna be, chewy. Since we're talking about unisex fragrances, I find this one to be pretty unisex. One Million Parfum, in my opinion, is unisex because of its use of the white florals, but it also makes this one easier for every single season. It gives it a little bit of a freshness, a, quite a bit of a lift, if you will, some salty nuances, some solar nuances as well. And this one is a cheaper version. One of the best ones, Cayenne Gold. Better than Latofa's Extract or Extract or Fakar Extract, that's that one. This is definitely better. Smells designer quality. You could spray these both on, on two separate hands, and you likely will not find a difference because it smells just like that fragrance. One million parfum, you can't find at discounters, but the small size bottles might be a little bit more expensive than that. This one smells just freaking like it. Relatively unisex, so ladies, if you enjoy the whole one million DNA, this is one you can actually get away with as well. But guys, if you enjoy one million parfum, it's exactly that. Next fragrance is gonna be reserved more so for the colder weather. And for me personally, I do tend to signature scent sexy date night type of fragrances. And there's a lot of people that do that as well. And the most appropriate time for that is going to be the winter and the fall time. This is Jack of Clubs by Fragrance World. It's gonna be the best during the fall time. This is my most enjoyed inspired by and because of the fact that it doesn't really focus too much on some of that blue lavender aspect, the shaving cream vibes, like some of the other inspired by some of the new ones that came out more recently, like Latofa's Neshama Caprice, is fantastic, it's great, but because it's denser in that lavender, it makes it a bit bluer, thicker, harder to signature scent, really. For my taste personally, I would rather go with something that's a bit spicier, less around the lavender, and that's exactly what this one does, or that's what this one is. Both of the fragrances, Neshama and Jack of Clubs, have their pros and cons when compared to the original, and I did a video on the live stream, actually, on my channel, which you can go in reference to if you're trying to debate between which one, but for me, this is the one that I would go with to signature scent less on that lavender, less around the whole barbershoppy shaving cream vibe, and more around those peppers and the cardamom spice. Next one's pretty much a classic. It's Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is the intense version. They knocked this one out of the park. It smells amazing. And I got a decent amount of longevity. I mean, average, actually. Above average for Freshy Realms. This is called La Uno by Fragrance World, and this is the intense blue Eau de Parfum. This was surprising. I've signature scented the original, the OG, not the intense blue for some years actually, but as I started to develop, you know, a higher taste of fragrances and as they watered that one down, they released the intense blue, but I had already given up on that DNA and I didn't really look back. And today, I'm not much of a fan of the original or even the intense blue. The original is okay, scent profile wise, but the intense, it's meh. This, it's not the fact that I love the DNA or anything. It's the fact that I love the execution of this one. They killed it with this. And I rocked it and I was so surprised at how easy it was to wear and how long this lasted. So yes, if you like Dolce & Gabbana light blue, light blue intense, easy. Signature scent worthy literally everywhere and anywhere. During the winter time, it might not hold on as long, but you can still rock it. You could easily still rock this one. Signature scent, summertime, wintertime, whatever, man. Low no intense blue. Super easy, borderline too easy for my taste, but nevertheless, a great signature scent. Next fragrance is like Wolf on Wall Street. Stock exchange vibes, lawyer vibes all day. It's gonna be around that Aventus DNA and it's one of my favorite inspired vibes. This is called Rehan's Imperia. Doesn't open up with Screechy Lemon like a lot of its other competitors. It has much more of a closer DNA to the original. We're talking the OG. Creed Aventus. So that birch, the pineapple, black currant, it's all encaptured into this one. It lasts a lot longer than the current batches of Creed Aventus. That's for damn sure. And for me personally, when comparing it to other inspired buys, while this not, might not be the longest lasting, it's the best in terms of closest to the OG. A couple of the other ones open up with lemon and they do it a little bit like cleaner vibes and things of that nature. This one is a perfect balance in my opinion. And for that reason, a perfect signature scent. This all year round. But you really have to be careful with this type of scent profile because it can come off abrasive. This is for confident personalities. And if you're like that wolf on Wall Street type of you know personality, then you're gonna absolutely love this one. Rayhan's Imperia. Last on this list is shower gel. You just hopped out of the shower, but you smell sweet at the same time. It's YSL YEDP. Easy fragrance for everywhere. And this is for like sub 30 bucks. It's called Sheikh Al Shiyuh Final Edition by Latafa. By far one of the best inspired buys of YSLY EDP. And luckily enough, it's 
One of the cheapest too. Amber Woods Bubble Gummy Shower Gel, super easy, no brainer, and has no age limit to this. No age gap either. Super nice fragrance, smells amazing. There you have it, 16 Middle Eastern cheapies that are signature scent worthy. There are plenty more fragrances. I mean, I've picked up maybe this year or year of 2023, at least 300 fragrances, Middle Eastern fragrances. So picking just 16 is not the easiest thing in the world. But these, for signature scents, they're definitely some of the best ones. That's pretty much all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and until the next one, peace.